you ever felt like you needed a big change, not a change in job, routine, or medication, but a radical life change? And that is exactly what I got. Turning off the lights on years of investment, taking comfort in my only companion, letting countless cherished possessions fall away into the rear view mirror. We adjusted to new living conditions right as we make it to Slab City on the West Coast. But it's been in Slab City. So when I first got there, I met this really cool guy named Chance. I've kind of heard of him before, and he was playing his guitar on a brand new sign AC DC converter so it didn't cause interference with this amplifier and he's a great musician he also makes cartoons blows glass and he pretty much helps everyone that's worth it get along with each other he also inspired put up all these signs all over the neighborhood that say uh, one happy neighborhood he wants everyone to get along and uh, a big problem is that all the people from the town really see these people as kind of a freak show and they kind of hate them so they just see people, so they want everyone to get along, you know. A lot of these people are kind of that, there by choice, but on a certain degree, they're really not. After checking out the mythical Slab City, we continued to explore Sequoia Park as we continued to head north. Passing like-minded individuals, Maxine and I move up the west coast, ultimately making it to Seattle, just in time for some festivities, where I get to be shown around by my ex-brother-in-law, Jonathan. I get to show respects to Hendrix, we explored some ice caves, and little did we know that only hours later, a hiker would die in the exact spot where we are doing our photo shoot. Wow. Here you can see the organization of the truck, sleep on one side, tools, etc. on the other. Maxine, truly an angel, we grew closer than ever during this trip. And eventually this time period would begin to come to a close as we would head back east. But not before helping a dear friend's VW shop, fixing a bunch more cars, encountering this crazy guy, and actually bringing one of my childhood best friends all the way to New York City. <clears throat> Rounding out the year, I ended up living in Fargo, North Dakota with uh, the same girl who'd broken my heart into a million pieces. What's the worst that could go wrong? I got back into being a mechanic with some official training and started to get my mojo back. 